begin the recording part. Welcome to the evolution meeting here on this lovely January 25th, 2022. And these are our meeting minutes. We're going to skip the review of previously reviewed metrics and move that on to the next meeting, which will be someday in February. And just go right to agenda item number two, which is reviewing change request commits. <clears throat> so this is a, a metric that we're in the process of re releasing, and I believe we've come quite a ways and we wanted to step back on this. So I think, um, how do people feel about uh, pausing the recording and taking some time to review this, or should we just keep recording and let people watch the excitement? Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and pause it and take a peek. All right. Yeah. Apparently that's a drop down. I'm going to, I think we've discussed a lot of good stuff, so I'm restarting the recording. So <clears throat> in short, during this down period, we narrowed the scope of change request commits to focus only on change request commits and not the complexity or lines of code necessarily, although we think that the number of commits is a signal of potentially increasing complexity. Um, to summarize what we've discussed for the recording. And I, I, I think the other, the four, fifth and sixth objectives are both sound. What we need is um, that that is uh, we do have change request commits implemented in Augur. I don't know if it's available through the API right now. that two periods oh apparently auger does have um supposedly a metric that generates an internal server error but... what are known synonyms for this metric um, known synonyms well, I mean, pull request commits, uh, merge request commits. Um, Issue commits will be, no. Oh. Oh. Uh, Code change. Code review. Oh, review. Yeah, review. Uh, yeah. Yep. Review commits. Code review. Code review commits. Code review commits. Oh, tools. Uh, I forget what we put under implementation. It's been a been a minute. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, there's just a heading for implementation. Oh, I guess implementation is a super heading for these other things. Never mind. Yeah. So yeah. what I've what I've noticed uh, is that underneath implementation, oftentimes the first thing that shows up is aggregators. Mm -hmm. However, it seems like we've been doing it without the heading aggregators. So. It'd be like a paragraph that would kind of talk about aggregators, 
and then filters is its own thing. If that does that make sense? Yeah. Let me see if I can find a. This is all of Augur's history. <laughs> Sean, can we have a source of this image? Uh, it's actually the API endpoint that's listed below. Okay. Um, yeah. I think um, I, I think I can provide a parameter that will narrow the scope. So let me see about doing that. That didn't make it small. Yeah, but I can answer. Hold on, let me just mute. Um, Sorry, our, um, our schools are off the last five days. And so the children are at home. How come, how come you're off? Uh, it's basically a COVID response. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, I'll have to come up with a, I don't know why, I guess when I, did it by when I put the period, it did it monthly. This is, I guess, a little bit better. Not a lot better. I'll work on this. It's unreadable, obviously.
I think the meeting is probably coming to an end. Are we? Are, I, I, my clock, I have hiding now, so I'm doing worse at, uh, yeah, we're at the end. I, I think we made some good progress here. I'll, um, I'll call that a win. Yep. Um, thank you yep. for participating. Yep. And um, I'll see you all in 10 minutes. Minutes. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Bye.